Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to save high scores for your RetroPie MAME running 2003 for games like Raiden and Growl and Tetris, games that don't save high scores by default. So stick with me and check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another RetroPie video. And before I get into the technicalities, I just want to explain in detail what this is about. So when you're running arcade games, MAME arcade games on Emulation Station on RetroPie, they do save high scores. The, the, it uses a version of MAME that saves high scores built in like automatically. So there's no need to use the highscore.dat file for those. Uh, when you're using MAME on, for example, like your PC, uh, you need the, if you want to save your high scores, you use a file called highscore.dat. Now, if you're familiar with MAME, you know exactly what that is. You dump the highscore.dat file into your MAME exe folder, and it saves your high scores. When you're running on RetroPie Emulation Station, uh, that the high score saving function is built into the version of MAME that they use. The version of MAME that they use is a 2003 version as the core version. You can install other versions like 2000 and 2010, but the core version that's used is MAME 2003. It's a port of MAME.078, so when you're running MAME games on that version for 2003, you're best off finding the 2003 ROM set, um, just so it's better compatibility and the games run with that version of MAME. That's a little bit off topic, so I'm talking about saving high scores. Now, I want to tell you how I went about setting up my arcade machine to save all my high scores. So, like I said, for the most part, the main version saves most, I'd say about probably about 80 to 90% of the games uh, built in save the high scores automatically. There are a bunch of games. Now, I've got on my arcade, I've got, so far, I've got 185, 186 games. And about just over a dozen of those games don't save the high score file. So let's talk about Raiden. Raiden is a game that I took, it took me ages to get the high score working. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. So uh, I, I basically figured out that uh, Raiden relies on the high score.dat file to save the high score. It doesn't run off automatically from the, the built-in 2003 main version on RetroPie. So I'm going to go into a bit of the technicalities and tell you how to set that up, configure it so it saves the high scores. As you can saw from the intro, I've got all my high scores saving, so I'm really happy. But Raiden is, the only, is not the only game affected by it. I've got, another, I've got a list of games that I had to do some configuration for. Uh, so Growl or Run Arc is another game affected. Tetris, Vol Volgus. Vulcan Venture, which is Gradius 2. Vendetta, which is a Konami beat-em-up. The Simpsons, another Konami beat-em-up. Turtles in Time, another Konami beat-em-up. And those are strange ones because of the, I guess, the ROM set, because you can have a, like a two-player or four-player setup, I guess. Uh, Root Beer Tapper, Sunset Riders, Moonwalker, Alligator Hunt, Captain America and the Avengers, R-Type Leo, R-Type 2, and R-Type. Uh, and I guess Qbert kind of, but I'm going to get into it now. So I'll show you on my screen about a bit more technicalities of how to get it all configured and working and testing. So yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so here comes the technical bit. So if you've got any questions, pop them in the comment and I'll try to explain better if I don't right now. So what you want to do, you want to get your Retro Pi or Raspberry Pi down there hooked up to your Wi-Fi so you can essentially access it on your computer. Once you're able to do that, you want to open up Windows Explorer and you want to just do backslash backslash RetroPy and it'll open up the folder to access your RetroPy. So you'll see these folders here, okay? Uh, you're going to see a folder called BIOS and the BIOS folder is where you're going to have, you're going to see a folder in there, forget all this stuff down here, you're going to see a folder called MAME2003. And that's where you're going to have your high score.dat file. So you're going to just stick it in there. That's where MAME2003 is going to look for your high score.dat file. Now, it's not just going to work automatically, unfortunately. In order for it to read that file and know and use it, essentially, you're going to have to change one more thing. 
So go into this folder here that says configs. This is the secret now. And uh, it took me a while to come across this. And then go into the folder called all. And then go to the file that says RetroArch Core Options, that configuration file right there. So open that up. You can open it with like a text editor. And you're going to open up this. And it's a long file of configuration entries. And you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And once you've done that, you're going to see this entry here. Let me highlight it. It's going to say MAME 2003 external high score. And now that what you're going to see, that's going to say the word disabled. So you're going to change that to the word enabled and you're going to save it and press the save button. So that's going to allow MAME 2003 to use the external, the high score dot dat file. OK, so that's the important. This is the whole crucial part about this now. So set that to enabled and then save the file. And now you're in business. The only other bit you've got left to do now is if you need to go into the highscore.dat file and edit the entries. And I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you a quick example of it working. OK. OK, so to give you an example of how this works, we're going to look at one of the games that doesn't save by default and that's Tetris, the old school Atari Tetris. So what you want to do is check the ROM name. OK, so you want to look at the ROM name of this and you can see that's called A. Tetris, so a tetris.zip. So get your Raspberry Pi hooked up to your Wi Fi, open it up in your computer, and go to your BIOS MAME 2003 folder where your highscore.dat file is. Okay, you're gonna edit this. You can edit your highscore.dat file, you can view the entries by right clicking and opening it with a text editor. So open that up. And there you can access the highscore.dat file. So now what you want to do, you want to just scroll down or run a search on the game. So I'll just run a quick search on a Tetris and it will take you to the entry. And there it is. So this is what you're going to see on the uh, highscore.dat file that's current to, you know, the main 2003 version. And these are all the entries. So you've got the different ROM names, A Tetris, A Tetris B2, all the different variants of Tetris. Now you can see why this isn't working at the moment because the entries, the, these entries here with the zero in front of them, they're, they're the high score memory location. So um, without getting too technical, this is, you want these to be under the name. Because you can see A Tetris is here, there's nothing under it. I want these entries to be under this, after this semicolon, essentially. So all these other games I don't need. I'm going to get rid of those entries. If you, if you, Depending on the version of Tetris you're running, you can just copy these entries into the into the section. For example, if you've got, if your version of Tetris is uh, uh, this one here, A Tetris A, you just paste those entries into there and save the file and then close it. So, but what I'm going to do, uh, I'm only running a Tetris. Uh, that's the ROM file I've got. So I don't need all these other entries. So I'm going to delete them. Okay. And so I've just got a Tetris there and I'm also going to just get rid of that little, that's wrong. That shouldn't be there. So you can see it's nice and clean now. A Tetris and then the high score memory locations. So that's me set. I can now save that. And then basically I'm going to run Tetris now and test it out. And to absolutely test that it's actually working correctly, browse out of your high score.dat file folder. Go back up to the ROMs folder. Go to the arcade folder, that's where I'm storing my arcade ROMs. And you'll see the folder called main 2003 And that's where the high score files are going to be saved. So these are all my high score files. Can you see them all there? Nice and up to date. Uh, Raiden's at the top because I was just playing Raiden. Uh, but we don't have a Tetris entry yet. Okay, so we're going to start Tetris running on here.
okay? And what when we close, what happens is these high score files update when you close or exit the game. So Tetris is running on here. I'm going to exit the game and it should, you'll see a little flash, you'll watch the cursor, you'll see a flash, which means it's updating that folder. So I'm gonna exit the game. There's a little flash of the cursor. So if I check the date modified files now, I sh it should have created a, there it is, there's a Tetris now. At, at the time, 11.07. Time on my computer is 11.08 now. So if I was to run Tetris again, it's a good test to test these high score files are working and running, is to run the game, uh, check the time on your computer, and then when you exit the game, you'll see that that time, I'm gonna exit now, and you'll see the time updates to 11.08, you see? So that high score file is now working and running. And just for good measure, we've got ride and running again here now, and we're gonna just stop the game, and you should see that the ride and high score updates to, my time is 11.09, so maybe 11.09 or 11.10. So I'm gonna exit the game, and there it is, the high score file for Raiden has updated. Okay, so guys, just in closing, here is the important stuff. Remember to change that enable, disable option in the retro core config file. Here's the list of games by default, in my list of games already, at least, that uh, I had to amend uh, and use the high score dat file with. And this is the list of the ROM names for those games that I'm using. So these are the ones I've edited in the high score dat file. And you can see the entry for my Raiden entry here. If you want to take a copy of that, just so you can see and get yours working the same as mine is. Uh, so edit the entry for Raiden in the high score dot that file to these values here. And yeah, take a note of the uh, other names here as well. Uh, so yeah, just in closing, this is only for main 2003 games. So this doesn't include Neo Geo games, for example. Neo Geo uses, uh, I'm running my Neo Geo games off my Final Burn Alpha emulator. So that saves it uh, on its own. So no need to worry about that. Uh, Midway games like NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat, they use their own internal memory for saving high scores. So you won't see high school files generated for those, so no need to worry about those either. And uh, for example, Golden Axe 2 as well, that doesn't that game doesn't have a high score uh, name entry, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, anyway, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe does save a high score, create a high score file, but again, that's the same kind of game. There's no high score name entry, so it's probably a bit pointless in doing anything for that as well. But yeah, these are the games, this is the list of games I've found that uh, don't save automatically. So just to help you out, there's the list of the ones I've found in my list. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like that video. Like, comment, and subscribe for more great information. Thank you very much, bye for now.